Ladies and gentlemen, what a strange, strange year we've had. And, um, and it's still carrying on. It's incredible. And I know people will be saying there's words that have been overused, like unprecedented, and we have to come together and collaborate. But during a crisis, it's still important to keep a positive outlook about what can and hopefully will happen in the future. And to remain positive in these times is a skill in itself. Now, I'm happy to say, as per last year, we've got our chairman, Des Patan, is a very, very positive man, no matter what happens. And um, he's going to do the opening. So again, the concepts of this year's conference is from crisis to care. And we've put together a lot of people who genuinely do care. And I'm pretty sure that when you see their sessions, that will be endorsed. And we're also looking at genuine collaboration, not the word for the sake of using the word, but genuine collaboration and initiatives. So Des, over to you, my friends. It seems strange passing you from uh, my, my little studio in the back of the garden to your uh, wonderful, wonderful winery, as I can see in the background, but over to you, my friend. Very good morning, uh, Chris. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, colleagues and dear friends, as Chris has indicated, uh, it's a very strange year this year to be able to have to talk to you and address you um, from a remote and virtual perspective. But we all know the extraordinary circumstances that have unfortunately confronted all of us uh, as human beings, but also how it's devastated our industry. What I do want to say is that I'm delighted that we're going ahead with the um, ACHL as a digital event this year. And uh, I hope that uh, once you've had the chance to enjoy all the plethora of great speakers that we've been able to attract for you to listen to, beautifully moderated as inevitably by our chief moderator, Chris, um, then I'm sure that uh, once you've got to hear them, we'll have the chance to be able to summarize uh, the wisdom of their words, what they're gonna dedicate themselves to committing in these most extraordinary of times and uh, unprecedented as it is. So I hope you'll enjoy it. I have to say a huge thanks to a list of sponsors who have very generously contributed to make this digital event possible on behalf of EVA International. So my thanks and those of EVA International and Chris, I'm sure, go out to CEIA, Security Detection, uh, SIN France, GITA Aviation, Liège Airport, of whom I'm sure you'll hear plenty, Miami Airport, Pay Cargo, SACO, Ted Stevens Anchorage International Airport, our friends Uniload, and lastly but no least, IBS. So huge thanks to all of you. I know how difficult it is in these most extraordinary times but your generosity is truly appreciated and inevitably, of course, your support too. So I do hope you'll find the time. I know you're going to have be a time called on to try and tackle um, issues unlike no other in your lifetime. But once you've begun to hear um, what is going to be shared with you, and I certainly am looking forward um, to my session with Stan Ray. Uh, which Chris will moderate. And of course, as inevitably in these circumstances, we have actually uh, undertaken that session. So I know what's to come. And we'll be teasing you a little bit about our vision of the future, some of the challenges we have with the way the industry performs today, what we think is lacking. Do we have the chance to rewrite the entire air cargo supply chain uh, methodology? Well, um, I'll leave you guessing until you hear the session. And uh, I have no doubt that um, by the time we summarize, and we will be doing a closing session, Chris and I, uh, I hope once all the speakers have shared their uh, wisdom, that we'll be able to find some absolute gems of how we hope to collaborate, the task that we have got to set ourselves so that hopefully when we meet face to face next year in Vienna, we'll be able to see just how much has been achieved. Now, I wish you all the very, very best as you tackle the crisis in your own inevitable fashion, in your own inevitable environments. 
And please know that we're all right there behind you. Okay, Chris, it's now back to you. And I hope you'll enjoy all the wonderful sessions because I uh, say our speakers come from every aspect of our supply chain, including enablers and providers of equipment. So I know that we're gonna have a very, very entertaining few days. Thanks. Yeah. Chris. Thank you, Des, as always. And uh, I think everybody's looking forward to next year. Um, you know, there's so many things to look forward to. And also just one last big shout out to anybody who might be watching in, who's been affected by the, the virus and the impact on their jobs due to the practical sizing of companies. Great sympathies. We hope to keep everybody involved and connected and whatever anybody can do, we will do. So we look forward to welcoming everybody back into the aviation family as soon as possible and hopefully quicker than some people think. So without further ado, and I just make one quick reference to the Stan and Des show, which I uh, titled The Gentleman and the Hitman. So for those of you who know them both, you can make your judgment once you hear it as to who's who. In any case, welcome. Really appreciate your time. There's gonna be a lot of um, information available very, very shortly. And please take your time to go through it. Let us have your feedback. We'd really welcome it. And I look forward, Des, to seeing you and having that little final wrap up session at the end of all of the uh, at the end of all of the events that we have with each and every one of the special guests so thank you all looking forward to it so silent this is over to you my friend press the button away we go <laughs>